Hello, we are Team 3, and this is the Applied Mathematical BRG. Uh, my name is Zach Porter, this is Jin Wu, this is Alex McDonald. Uh, in this presentation, we'll be covering the project planning, the project management, the target cons consumers and specifications, and the product benchmarking and economic analysis. Um, so this is our mission statement, and so um, basically our product is a um, educational Rube Goldberg machine that um, demonstrates applied mathematical concepts. And so the student is uh, is given three stations, and the uh, the the only way that the um, that the that the Rube Goldberg machine is able to complete is by getting three correct answers and completing every station. Um, so our kind of our our benefit goal is to educate high schoolers ultimately. And uh, we've outlined two key business goals, which are finishing in 15 weeks and having our unit cost be under $75. So um, through our project management, so far we're on track to um, finishing all of our assignments. Um, we've finished three right now. We've, um, we've got our target specifications, we've identified our customer needs, and we've completed our first concept generation. Um, right now we're still working on our intellectual property search. Um, we're starting um, basically like testing our, our, our concepts for for our first station, and we're getting ready for concept generation for our second station, moving forward. Um, target customers and specifications. So, so far we have, um, we've outlined our, our key customers and we've interviewed a couple, and so, so far we have nine specifications that we've gotten from that information and data. Um, it's important that we get um, that multi-interchangeable multi parts, um, sort of like a modular system a little bit. Um, our solution to option ratio is also important to us. Um, we also have uh, degrees of freedom, which are basically um, how uh, a, s a specific like degree with which correct answers will be accepted. And um, our total mass is basically weight and like storage, um, being able to easily carry it. Um, our volume also is um, a key specification because. Uh, it's it's important that it's it fits in a certain space for storage that's like cube and like that's easier. Um, so we need to be testing um, our durability as well, and so for that we have the drop test. Um, we're also a key a key specification we have is the aesthetic approach. So basically, we just ask customers whether they approve or disapprove of the um, the aesthetic. Um, we also have our unit cost as well. So three similar products were found for our competitive benchmarking. Even though that this product is unique, as it's the only product that will teach mathematical concepts to uh, high school level courses, um, as the competitive benchmarking uh, was done, was completed, uh, some of the specifications were not applicable to these situations, as um, these three products that were um, researched uh, focus mainly on inspiring creativity and uh, and trying out new situations for young students as they are geared towards uh, eight to ten year olds. While the BRG being made is geared towards uh, upperclassmen in high school. Uh, but however, a few of the specifications were comparable. But uh, the correlations between these specifications and the specifications of the BRG are very limited as. The BRG being um, designed must fit a constraint of a two foot by two foot board, and while these products uh, have a free range of their volume and mass, and uh, also it was discovered that um, the having multiple interchangeable parts would not affect the difficulty as much as initially thought, but rather it would provide more options and more uh, more possible solutions to the product. Uh, so taking the customer needs, the specifications were uh, made to correlate well with the what the customers uh, desired from their interviews conducted. And it was discovered that having multiple interchangeable parts had the greatest in, had the impact on the greatest amount of customer needs while um, Something like the mass and the volume had a very low cor had correlations to only uh, one or two uh, needs. Uh, it was discovered that um, durability and the degrees of freedom allowed uh, after ranking the importance of each of these specifications and uh, how many needs they correlate to. They were found that they those two.
specifications had the same amount of importance, while we had the multiple interchangeable parts have the most importance and the mass have the least amount of importance. Um, so while coming up with this specification, there were a few that we wanted to maximize and a few we wanted to minimize. Uh, the two we wanted to maximize were the drop test, so how many times the machine would survive a drop, and the aesthetics, uh, we wanted as many people to approve of the design as possible. While we wanted to uh, lower the unit cost, the volume, and the time of completion, we wanted the time of completion to be relatively small so that multiple trials can be run. While we would like the unit cost to be low for teachers who are trying to purchase this product because we know that the budget of teachers is not as high as uh, someone in a uh, more um, beneficial uh, setting. And the rest of the specifications, such as the multiple parts, the uh, solutions to uh, options ratio, and the degree of freedom, we would like to keep in a targeted uh, area um, so that they do, we don't have it too low or too high. And after calculating the technical importance of each of the specifications, we also had to uh, calculate the priority using um, both the technical difficulty and the technical uh, importance. So uh, we discovered that the interchangeable parts were the easiest to implement and the most important, while something like the mass and the degrees of freedom were more challenging to implement. Okay, so we conducted an economic analysis for how we will carry out our policy for this product. So we decided to have our price be a flat $60. So it will not increase based on demand whatsoever. And we chose that because we believed it would be the most feasible for the market that we're tailing our uh, product towards, which is the high school, public high schools. Uh, so we decided that this product would be very unique from all others because of its uh, implications towards mathematics rather than any of the other uh, subjects that have common demonstrations like physics and chemistry. So since it applies to this new market, we've given it the market strategy of technological leadership, which allows us a lot of freedom moving forward for how we will design and develop and tailor it towards our customers. Uh, so in considering which uh, subject area to cover and how to approach this product, we considered our own high school experiences and our own high school classes and decided that in a lot of subject areas including chemistry and physics there are a lot of demonstrations that are naturally accounted for in the course. However with mathematics we find that there are not a lot of uh, applications to the natural world that are shown in class so we would like to shed lights on those things and kind of bring them into the classroom and allow a lot of classes to experience how mathematics has effect in the natural world in every single day of your life.